sister is so cool. Who wants tea and flapjacks? <laughs> Made them myself, but don't let that put you off. Oh, thanks, Dad. We'll be right in. Come on, Jim Jones. And you can have some too, Betty. <laughs> oh, mm. these are tasty, my love. Good job. No need to sound quite so surprised, Violet. <laughs> Just that last time we needed a saw to cut them up. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> they were chewy. <laughs> mm. oh, uh, uh, but uh, very tasty. They're great, Dad. <laughs> Jeannie likes them too. <laughs> you know, Monty, I believe Yetis are real. Yes, so do I, Gran. I saw one once, tried to take a photo, but he said, Sorry, no pictures, madam. Hello, Earth to Genie. Come in, Genie. Sorry. Nice flapjacks, Dad. Huh. Who are you listening to, Jeannie? Jackie Rocket. She writes her own songs and plays all her own instruments and, well, she's just kind of great. Hmm. She sounds OK, but I bet you play better, Jeannie. Yes. You'll be famous one day. <laughs> I wish. Please, can I go and practice my guitar? Of, of course, course Jeannie. Jeannie. Nothing stands in the way of rock and roll. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Wow, Jimmy, that sounds ice cool. You're really having a good time. Yeah, it's fun. But it would be even more fun to be like Jackie Rocket. What do you mean, Jeannie? To be a famous pop star. Does being famous make it more fun? Well, yes, of course. Being famous would be loads of fun, Monty. It would be amazing. <laughs> If you were famous, everyone would know you. And everyone would want to see you play, like, all the time, even if you didn't feel like it. Kazoops, Jimmy Jones, would it always be fun to be famous? Kazoops! <laughs> Take it, Graham. Genie. Like you mean it, Mum. Over to you, Monty. Monty. Not everyone can whistle, you know. That's right. Uh, if everyone could do everything, then the world would be a dull place. Oh, oh that's not exactly helping, Stanley. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, Gran. Uh, oh, and you, Mont. That's OK. But everyone else in this family can whistle. Even Jimmy Jones. Hey, Monty. Why don't you give it another go? Oh, I don't think so. Come on, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Your dad's right. You just need to keep on practicing that whistle. <sighs> OK. Go and see Monty Jimmy Jones. Yes, go on, Jimmy Jones. <gasps> I've never been able to whistle. Listen. And everyone else can, even you. <laughs> you do. You whistle when you sleep. I'm practising, Jimmy Jones, but it's not working. Kazoops, Jimmy Jones. Will I ever be able to whistle? Does practice really make perfect? Kazoops! <laughs>
All right! Go on! Keep up, Dad! Hey, I'm right there with you! Look how they play in the same way, Mums. You're right, Mum. Genie is a lot like Dad. Ah! I broke a string! Me too! <laughs> and they're both a bit heavy-handed. Oh, Ow, that, that really, really hurts! Hurt. <laughs> and they're both a teeny bit sensitive. <laughs> Jimmy Jones wants more music. Give those to me, my two soft and gentle musical lovelies. I can fix them. Let me help, Mum. <laughs> Look how alike your Mum and Jeannie are, Monty. Jimmy Jones really wants more music. But it's polite to say please, you know. How about we go inside and... Have a party to celebrate fixing our instruments. I was going to say have a cup of tea, but hey, let's party. Do you like the music, Jimmy Jones? <laughs> Need a hand with the drinks, Violet? No, I'm good, thanks, Sam. Gran. Nice dodge and save, Violet. Oh, Gran! <laughs> Just getting in the party spirit. <laughs> <sighs> Jeannie is so much like her mum. She's like mum and you, Dad. <laughs> She's bound to be. We're a family, so we're all like each other. Hmm. But I don't think I'm like anyone else in this family. <laughs> of course you are, Monts. In lots of ways. Hmm. Yes, that's right. Lots of ways. Bet you can't think of any. Um, well, uh, give me a moment. Uh, well, of course you're similar to us. You live here. We're all the same. Woohoo! I am quite happy being different. More nibbles, please. I'll get them, Gran. I'm pretty sure I'm not like anyone else. Because you, Jimmy Jones. Is everyone in the family always the same? <laughs> okay, Jimmy Jones, I'm going to chip it and you head the ball to Gran. I do love a bit of still walking soccer. Ooh. Nicely played, Jimmy Jones. Oh dear. No. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry, Monty. I meant to kick the ball, not step on it. <sighs> You didn't mean it. I shall get you a new one. You will? Whoa, thanks, Gran. Jimmy Jones wants a blue one. <laughs> but red would be just as good, Gran. I'll need to go into town. It might take a while, but I'll see you both later. Bye, Gran. <laughs> I'm happy about getting a new soccer ball, Jimmy Jones. But at the same time, I'm sad. <laughs> because I won't eat Gran till later. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Hi, Dad. Ah, afternoon, boys. Just doing battle with the plumbing. What's wrong, Monts? Dad, can you be happy and sad at the same time? Um, nope, you can't. Happy, sad, hello, goodbye, up, down. Whoa! <laughs> Wet, dry, you have to be one or the other. Hmm, OK, Dad, thanks. Right, you. Prepare to be plunged. You and Dad are really handy, Mum. Oh, we love this old house, Monts, but it takes a lot of looking after. Mum? Yes? Can you be happy and sad at the same time? Hmm. I think maybe happy, then sad, then back to happy. Happy, sad, happy, sad, happy. Yes, that's it. Hmm, sounds like hard work. <gasps> anyway, I was happy fixing the boiler. <laughs> and now, sadly, I have to go all the way back to the shed to get some tape. Dad says you can either be happy or sad. <laughs> and Mum says you can swing between both. <laughs> hmm. Kazoop, Jimmy Jones. Can you feel happy and sad at the same time? Kazoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on, 
Jimmy Jones, you can do it. Slide like you mean it. <laughs> Just take in a deep breath and let go. You'll be fine. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy Jones. <gasps> Jimmy Jones, you can do it. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Be it to the swings. Okay, coming. Fancy a go on the swings? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, come on, you two. I think I'll hang with Jimmy Jones for a bit. He's all out of puff. Whoop! Then the sky belongs to me! Woohoo! Taking a breather, Jimmy Jones? Hmm. I know how we can take a breather and have fun. Let's lie down here and do some cloud gazing. If you look really hard, Jimmy Jones, the clouds make all kinds of shapes. Shapes you know. Over there, a steam train. Look. Look, and there's a dragon. Yes, a sheep. The clouds always look a bit like sheep. Oh, a rocket, a rocket. Ah. Oh. Look at you. I wonder what you're dreaming about. What are you doing? Shh! Jimmy Jones is dreaming. Look. <laughs> That's too funny, Monty. Pigs don't dream. <gasps> Swings. Come on. In a minute. Hmm. Well, you sure look like you're having fun somewhere. Ginny can't be right, can she? Because of Jimmy Jones. Surely pigs have dreams too. <laughs> well, here we are, gang. The Fill Up Diner. Hello, Stanley. The funniest and fanciest diner in town. I'm starving. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> This place takes me back. Me and your mother came here on our first date. No, we didn't. Didn't we? Uh, oh, <clears throat> come on, everyone. Let's eat. <laughs> Tag, you're it, Gran. Not for long. Tag! <laughs> Whee! Here I come. Meow. Right then. What does everyone want? I'm going to have the rhubarb burger with cinnamon salad and double dippy dressing to start. To start? Dad! <laughs> you don't get guns like these on starters alone. <laughs> oh, Stan. Uh, so, for main, I'll have the house pasta with the chilli sliders and a superstar smoothie with three straws. I'll have what he's having and I'll go for a salad. Who is that? Sorry. <laughs> Not your stomach, Dad. The lady in the pointy hat. Oh, Monty, that's the Queen. It says here that she once ate at this very table. <laughs> Maybe that's who you took on your first date. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so if everyone chooses what they're having, we can eat at this very table too. <laughs> tag, you're it. <laughs> tag, got your back. Oh, yeah? Triple super tag. Monty, Gran, what's got into you? Sorry. Monty, why don't you and Jimmy Jones go and wash your hands and try being a little bit more like Her Majesty? Yes, I'll bet she's always on her best behaviour. Okie dokie, I'll try being a little more like Her Majesty. The Queen sure looks like she's got good manners, Jimmy Jones. 
It must be hard to be on your best behaviour all the time. Curse you, Jimmy Jones. Do you think she's always on her best behaviour? Heave, everyone! Heave! We're heaving, Grant! We're heaving! <laughs> OK, the piano is in the house. Just need to get it up to Jeannie's room. Can we tie a rocket to it and launch it up the stairs, Dad? We have take off. <laughs> I think that's a little over the top, Monty. Maybe we can tie a hundred, no, two hundred balloons to it and float it up the stairs. Let's see exactly what needs to be done before we get too carried away, Monts. Jeannie. Good news. The piano is in the house. Thanks. It's so exciting having a new instrument to play. But how are you going to get it up here? We're still working on that. I know. A Yeti can carry it up on her back. One piano delivery for Miss Jeannie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Monty, you're so funny. Always daydreaming. Hmm. Wow, Mum. You're so clever. <laughs> well, it's my job to deliver parcels, Monts. I just need to think of the piano as a really big parcel. A wizard could make the piano vanish. Yes, and make it magically appear in Jeannie's room. <laughs> piano be gone! Monts, I wish it could be that easy. What we need is raw power. <laughs> like an elephant, Gran. He could wrap his trunk around the piano and... Daydreaming is fun, Monty, but I'm afraid it won't get the piano upstairs. Hey, Monty. Just making sure nothing gets damaged once we get the piano on the move. We need an alien shrinking ray, Dad. Zap! Don't think we have one of those. It would make the piano tiny, and then I could carry it upstairs in my pocket. <laughs> That's a fun idea. Zap! My best one yet. But these ideas aren't quite right for this problem, Monty. They're not? Truth is, daydreaming doesn't help when there are real problems to solve. <sighs> I was thinking up good ideas, Jimmy Jones. But everyone said my daydreaming wasn't helping. Kazoop, <laughs> Jimmy Jones. Daydreaming can help solve real problems, can't it? Kazoops! <laughs> at you. Who's a cutie? You're a cutie. <laughs> Who's a clever Who's boy? You to? are. Yes, you are. Uh, hi, Jeannie. Oh, hi, Monty. Who's a clever boy? George. Who's George? He's a stick insect. Wow. A stick insect? <laughs> Not so fast. You'll scare him. Ooh. Hello, George. Cooey. I'm looking after George for the whole week. Ooh. Ah. Um, Jeannie, I can't see anything. Are you sure he's still in there? <laughs> ah, he's really hard to see. That's the whole point. Stick insects look like sticks. <laughs> I'm with you, Jimmy Jones. What fun is a pet if you can't even see it? Take a closer look. Wow, I see him. <laughs> so what does he do? Um, well, he just kind of sits there, looking like a stick, hiding, you know. And that's it? Yeah. OK. Well, um, bye, George. Well, he's a great stick. <laughs> And he's a cutie. <laughs> but surely a pet's meant to be amazing. And interesting. And exotic. Something like a cat. No, not just any old cat. A big cat. The sort you find in a jungle with huge paws and a long, swishy tail. Like a lion! <laughs> 
<laughs> a lion is a wild animal, Monty. You can't have a wild animal as a pet. Why not? It'd be awesome. <laughs> You'll be telling me you want a whale in the bath next. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it would be so amazing to keep a big wild animal in the house. Kazoops can be jumped. A lion would make the perfect pet, wouldn't it? 